It's all connected. 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 Uh, circles. That would be me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so we're live right now, right here on RealLibertyMedia.com and RLMRadio.xyz on Ooh. this Monday, November 23rd, 2020. Yes. And, uh, Only seven days or something like that till Christmas. What? Yeah. All right. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, this is episode 19. Christmas. Uh, it, well, Christmas. In seven days? Okay. Uh, anyway, That's the 1st of December. Yeah. That means Christmas. All right. All right. This is episode 19 of the It's All Connected show. And today's title of the show is Love, Anger, Kindness, Inspiration, and Creation. Ooh. And, and not Christmas, because you hate it when people talk about Christmas when it's not December, right? Well, you know, before Thanksgiving, I, I think it should be. That's that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so you should take it personal. And Merry Christmas, Grimnir. Thanks, Zerk. <laughs> <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. I don't know. Christmas is an important thing to me because it's already dark all the time. No, it's not. It's not dark right now. Uh, yeah, it's been dark for many hours. Well, for you it's dark, but for me it's it's uh, noon. So, <laughs> yeah. So that, that's high noon, right? Oh yeah, but it does get yeah. dark early. It's it's getting dark here now at uh, four fifty five p.m. Ouch! And getting light, yeah. getting light at six forty seven a.m. So uh, the, you know the, the light comes in through the window there in the bedroom in the early morning wakes me up. Which yeah, I'm not a particular fan of. I've tried you know like blackout stuff, but uh, it doesn't really work that well. Anyway. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Here the it's dark until eight, and the sun is down again at four. Wow, that's a short day. Of course, yeah, you're, you're, and you're, it's not even the shortest. You're, you're up pretty far north, so yeah, that would make sense. And I'm not. And that's what Christmas is about. About being dark. Yeah. So, that's you so, know. So Christmas is a dark time. Christmas is the turning point of the light. Oh, actually, it's the 21st, but okay. Yeah, but <laughs> That's the Yule. That's the Yule. Then you have three days of uh, standstill, right? And then it turns on the 24th. 25th. Isn't that how it is? Wouldn't it be the 25th? I don't know. I celebrate Christmas on the 24th. You're a weirdo. I am not. Why You're not? You're the original gangster. Come on. I, I like weirdos. <laughs> well, we weren't going to talk about Christmas, though. No, it's not. It's not in our. It's not in our topic list. <laughs> no, no, because I knew you wouldn't have accepted it if I had wrote Christmas. Well, maybe when it gets closer. Okay, let's it, do that. Well, it's you know, it's put a you know, make a note, but not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Remember it. We could just you know not and say we did it. Not and say we didn't? Okay. We, you, know, you know, we could not talk about Christmas and then in a later show say, remember the time when we covered Christmas? Uh, but we didn't. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. I don't know. All right. Yeah. So you want to talk okay. about love. Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to talk about love about? About love about? That's, about love about? Lo that's love. Just a love little love. redundant. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Love is a big thing, though, right? Love is a big thing. It can mean all kinds of stuff. It can. You know, I could say, I love you, so you're a person. Oh, I know. Isn't that sweet? Uh, and, and, but yeah. I could also say, I love 
hamburgers. <laughs> well, does it make you happy inside when you eat hamburgers? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I love hamburgers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, then you love hamburgers. Yeah. That's not a bad thing, though, right? No, no, no. I mean, it's fine. You know, I I love the blues. You know. I... <laughs> So, what does it do to your life when you focus it around things you love? Well, it makes you happy, right? I mean, yeah, uh, it, it makes you smile, it makes you feel good, it makes you makes me anyway. I don't know about you, but um, uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, love is generally you say it when there's something that you um, have a good feeling being around or enjoy. Uh, doing or or whatever you know I, I love skiing not necessarily but that's you know a thing um that people do you do. love skiing though i well you know i i used to ski when i was younger much much younger and um i sucked at it <laughs> <laughs> but did you like do downhill or yeah um... downhill downhill uh you know the uh, you know, you go to these places where they have the ski lifts there, and you, and you ride up the ski. And then that was really the worst part for me was a ski lift. I hated those things. Getting never uh, been in one. The never. lift, the lift part is fine. Getting on them and off them was 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 the terror. <laughs> I went to Norway for a skiing trip a whole week and never got on one of those lifts. Oh, okay. I looked at it and I went, no, uh. -uh. <laughs> 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 no, ain't doing that. Uh, what's the other kind of skiing you say? Oh, the track thing? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Cross country? Yeah, so I did that instead. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, I guess uh, that seems like a lot of work, though. It was fun. But uh, it's a pretty, you know, I was in Norway, so it's very pretty, right? Okay. Well, I, know, I, I only skied at Big Bear, Big Bear Mountain, which is in <laughs> Southern California, San Bernardino Mountains there. Yes. And, um... Yeah, so, I mean, it was always crowded, you know, a bunch of idiots out there. Of course, I was one of the idiots, too. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, 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 so I spent more time on my ass than I did on my skis, so, um, <laughs> yeah. But would you like to go skiing some other time, though? Would you like to Not, try it again? No, I'm too old. I, I'm, or would you be scared? I wouldn't be scared. I would just, I, I know that I would wind up in pain afterwards. Wouldn't you be scared though? No, no, skiing never scared me. I was never, I was never scared of going down the hill, and uh, you know, I could, I knew, I, I learned all the tricks before I went up the hill the first time. Um, you know how to, how to slow down, how to turn, how to, how to fall, <laughs> which, yeah. which was a big thing. That was my, that was my big move, falling. I was, I was good at falling. <laughs> I never ran into a, I never hit a tree or anything. I didn't do a sunny bono. <laughs> no, I just looked at the whole thing, you know. Oh yeah, so no, it's, it's, I just, I, I used logic though. That you're not supposed to do that when it comes to enjoying stuff, right? No, absolutely but I didn't not. Apply no, no, logic. No, logic, logic is perfectly acceptable when enjoying things. Yeah. Well, that means you would never go skiing, though. Well, I used uh, bigger than skiing for me was was the off roading on. Uh, motorcycles, quad racers, three wheelers. See, and, if you applied logic into that, you would never do it. Well, no, I mean probably not. I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> no. here, here you go, coming, fly, you know, shooting up uh, the, the backside of a sand dune, and you're going to fly across that. You're going to be up in the air, uh, kind of out of control. As, as well, more or less. I mean, you can shift your weight around in the air, but um, you don't know exactly what's on the other side of that hill. So you could be flying off and 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 yeah, there might be somebody down there that, you know, in their their machine that you land on. Of course, I, I never had that happen to me, but... Um, yeah, I'm not, never going to do that. Oh, it was, just, it was the freaking uh, best time of my life. Just I don't even shooting around on, on the quad racer, man. Oh, <laughs> nothing like it. Nothing like it. And so no. I could absolutely say I loved that activity. Um, I loved it. Yeah, and it made you feel good, right? Oh, this made me feel like freaking Superman, man. <laughs> and now when you think back, though, you can still unwrap that feeling. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, and and yeah. and, and, and even my buddies that were out there, because I used to go with, out there with a bunch of buddies, you know, of course. Um, that's how you do it. You go camping out in the desert, and then you get with your with your machines. And But, but uh, they would always tell me that I, I rode like somebody with reckless abandon. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, I would I would just tear it up out there. Uh, uh, that was freaking awesome. Um, good times. Yeah, good times. I'm I'm way too clumsy to be reckless. I mean, I get hurt just well. You, you know, the street, right? okay. Tell me this. Okay, you're clumsy. I'm I'm a, I'm a klutz to to the max. Um, no, you're not. I am. <laughs> how long How long have I known you? I don't know. Years, five years, right? Five years, something. You like that. You never break anything or get hurt. Oh no, that's not true. Um, one time I was. For those five years, I broke fingers. I destroyed my own eye. I busted up knees. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't always tell everybody about all my my self injuries. Oh. But but I do it. remember telling people about this one time. I was. Uh, I was getting up. I was I was I was on the floor looking in my safe there, and when I got up, I did something weird, something wrong. I don't know what it was with my foot, and it ripped my toenail straight off. Boof! Ow! Oh! Ow. Oh boy, did that hurt? So, uh, but that was due to my own clutchiness, and you know. Um, but I, I've done plenty of other things that are just you know. What do you do with that? Just wrap a Band-Aid in? Yeah, and, there's nothing you, you know. can do. It's still growing you back. You just wrap after, it, right? You just it, wrap it, it and that's it. it. It's still growing back after like three years, you know. Yeah. They, they don't grow back fast. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and, anyway, so, no, I am. That's my favorite pastime thing, though. I, I am not a coordinated person. You know, no, I, I but was my never favorite good. pastime thing is where did you get that scar from? <laughs> That's really the best. Just get people uh, talking about all their yeah. scars. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a yeah, lot of no. I don't have a lot of scars, but I did break a lot of bones when I was a child. Oh, see, then you might be one of the club members. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, I. Yeah. I, I, I broke my right arm twice and my left arm once. Um, I busted both of my collarbones at the same time. Ow. Yeah, yeah. And that Never was, broke a collarbone. Ow. Yeah. That was when I was like four, when I was four years old, oh. and uh, I was at like a uh, playground thing, and mm -hmm. um, and I, and I saw an open swing. Ooh, I'm gonna go get that swing. So I, I so I go running over there to get the swing, and not really paying attention to the other kids on the swings there. And um, this kid came swinging up as I was running by, and he his feet hooked me underneath the uh, the, the shoulders there, and and I flew, Whew. I flew oh. up into the air. Uh, over, over, over this six foot fence, landed square on the, on the shoulders on my back oh. and it busted both of my collarbones. Ouch. And, um, apparently I was, uh, from what I heard, I don't really know, but apparently from what I heard, I was, um, silent about it. I didn't cry. I didn't moan. And um, from one of, the, one of the things I heard is I was at the hospital with these two broken collarbones. Yeah. And I and I was not saying anything, or crying or anything. And this other lady there with her son that was there with like a broken <laughs> finger or something, and who was just yeah. bawling his head off. And mm. um, and the lady came over and gave me a dime for being such a good kid. Oh. <laughs> oh. Last time I went to the oh, not the last time, but when I went there with my fingers, right? This little kid was sitting there, and he was so proud because he broke his hand. And, uh, and proud? He, his, um, he got proud of breaking his hand? Yeah, he was so proud because he kept telling me about how he had made money from it. <laughs> 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 because uh, his mom's insurance um, paid out um, probably, what, like $500 or something right. for a broken wrist. Yeah. And his mom had given him that money. <laughs> So he was like, yeah, I got four more weeks of this, then I'm ready for the other one. Right, right. <laughs> like this little kid at seven years old with his broken wrist, right? Yeah. I've got money from it. I got money. <laughs> okay. There you go, kid. Oh, yeah. Rob, Rob points out that you could get a big candy bar for a dime back then. Yeah. 1964. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I think the woman did it just to make her own kid feel bad. <laughs> yeah. But that's all right. <laughs> well, how come you didn't let out anything? You just you just went into shock, or? Uh, no, I I I I I don't know. I just the way I was. I was. No, yeah. I, I was. I was. You know. <laughs> so you know how some people are are uh, just they just don't really uh, share out their feelings on things, which I would be I I would be one of those and. 
And so my pain was my pain. It was for me. It wasn't for anybody else. But, uh, but after that, I do remember after that, uh, that I was, I was, uh, they, I was at a public pool with my, you know, my mom and, and my siblings there. And I had this big cast thing that went over both of my shoulders. And so I couldn't go in the pool, but I, I was, I was sitting on the edge of the pool there, uh, saying, and some, some nasty ass little brat as they are at public pools. I don't know if you have public pools over there, but no. yeah. yeah. We do. And anyway, so some like nasty ass little brat, uh, came running by and shoved me into the pool. Wow. And since I had these just basically cement, yeah. basically cement on my shoulders, I went sinking, wow. I went sinking straight to the bottom. Um, yeah. because and, nowadays they got those, uh, lightweight casts, right? Yeah. Kids yeah. don't know what it was like back then. Oh yeah. Plaster man. Just, Boy. just any, anyway. So I almost drowned at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. But uh, I, I guess I, I gained a fear of water after that. Water on my head, anyway. Um, not a fear oh. of water just by itself, but um, yeah. So I, I yeah. so I had a I, I had a why. you know a problem with that for a long time. Of, uh, I can see why. Yeah, well, you know. So what did they did they put on a new cast on you, or did you just got? Home I don't recall. I don't recall that part. Well. I don't recall that, but. Uh, Anyway, because so, I remember, I jumped out of the window from the second uh, floor in my school one day, right? Why? Um, it was a game, <laughs> and <laughs> the other ones they were taller than me, so so they could sort of like hang out from their arms and then reach the, this little ledger and then stand on that and then jump on something else, and I wasn't that tall, so I sort of just hang there out the window and you know, I jumped. Yeah. Right. Um, and I broke my leg horribly. Right. Uh, yeah. In, in a horrible way. So I got this big cast on and I had to have it on for like two and a half months or something, which is a long time. That is long. It's usually like six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but because it was in, I was growing, and they were scared that it would grow crooked, and I would be crooked legged for the rest of my life. And <laughs> so I had this really big cast on. Um, so um, when there were like three weeks left, I had enough. Uh -huh. So I I took it off, right? Sure. I sat down on the curb and I just smacked it into the curb until it broke, and I could break it off. So I just had enough, and I took it off. Uh, on my way to school, and I went to school, and I, it really hurt. <laughs> it had been in there for a long time, and it was still broken. And but I just ended up. So I, uh, I went to school, and I hung out, and I played all day, and I was really dreading going home because I didn't know what to tell my mom. You know, it fell off, mom. Uh, so I went home, and I told my mom, "Well, it, it fell off. Um, I slipped, and it fell off." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had to go back. Then. I thought because there were only like three, two, three weeks left. Yeah. So I figured, okay, they're just going to, you know. Yeah, this is just extra. They don't I really just need get, it. Yeah, no, I just get off, you know, early for good behavior, right? Uh-huh. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh, after, because I just had broken one arm, then another arm. So I really had had a cast on for many months. Okay. So I just threw it off. So uh, we took, we went to the doctors again, and they put the whole thing back on. And since my mom told them that I was um, such a clumsy person that the other one just fell off, oh, uh, they might oh. want to make it extra secure, right? Oh. So the young doctor who was like an idiot uh, that decided to side with my mom, he made like a cast cast. I don't know. I don't think it even dried in the three weeks. Okay. That was like I had a rock on my leg. <laughs> you were you were you were how old at this time? I was at eleven. Eleven. Oh. A rebel at eleven. I, it was. Do you know how much? You know how that scratched? Oh, I know how how much those casts itch. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I already dropped like two pencils and a fork and something else into it from scratching, right? Whoops. Oh, fuck. Right? That I couldn't get up. Oh, man. So, you know. Uh. But, yeah. Well, let's talk about love then, Grimner. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. 
Tell me about love. What do you love? Who do you love? Well, first of all, I see love as something more than just, you know, something that, you know, it's also something that I do or someone that I love. Okay. But it's also bigger to me, though. Bigger than? Than just the moment it's in. And and there are many kinds of love, though, right? There are very many, as I was saying at the beginning there. You can love all kinds of different things in different ways. Yeah. I do love my husband, though. I'm glad to hear that. That's, in, that's a, that's like a good a thing. Fairy tale if, you, kind if, of way. if if you're married, it's good to love the person that you're married to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it. You know, it would be a different adventure, <laughs> definitely, if I didn't. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> yeah. because it's just adventures, though, right? But then, but then there's that thing when, well, I imagine it's happened to you at some point in time. That you're like in love with somebody and 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 they like you know profess their love to you, but eventually they they break your heart, oh yes, and that's yes. devastating, and it can last well forever <laughs> that devastation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. i I mean uh, love's got the flip side, right, well, everything's got the flip side. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, you, you don't know. stop eating hamburgers because there is a chance that someday you might never get hamburger again. So you better not just, you know, might not indulge in hamburger now. Well, you know, you you might stop eating hamburgers if you realize they're causing you damage in some way. <laughs> Love is, doesn't cause you damage, though. Oh, well, I disagree. <laughs> I think love is going to change the world, though. I, mean, I think love is always changing during, the world. During, during that love time, um, it's awesome and wonderful, and everything's whatever, beautiful. Uh, but 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 when when it when it when it when it comes crashing down on your head, then yeah, there's damage. It's it's that's that's severe damage. I don't know. I, you, I, you it's wait. part. It's. It's part of life, though. It is part of life. And, and you know, they say, oh, well, just because you got burned on this time or hurt on that time, you, you can't reject it. Uh, I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I... I don't think... I think maybe you, you're rejecting uh, romantic love, though. There are well, other yeah. loves. Because you, there's, there's stuff everywhere making you feel good. Inside. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, that's all love, though. That is, that is. Because I think love might be a, a force. <laughs> oh, if you're a funny dude. Uh, <laughs> they're talking. Oh, and, no, see, I, I have no fear of love. I have a fear but of the, the the pain that comes after. But that's the romantic. That's the romantic love, though. It, it is. It is, and it's not. I, I mean, let's. Uh, how do I don't even say this. That there are other kinds. There of are other things, too. and and they and they, uh, they can also turn on you and hurt you, or if they, you know. Okay, you have dog, right? Yeah. And did you, have you ever had a dog that that died? Yeah. And that just hurts. Oh, that hurts when but that it's happens. Part of life. But it's different. And it's you, not. It's and you not, really, it's, you really want to let you know if you're trying, if you're living your life trying not to let your get your heart broken. Yeah. You're living a life in the state of hearted of broken heartedness. Yeah. Don't you want to? You, See, you're just avoiding the deepest feelings in life because the absence of them is devastating. Right. So so you're constant living in the absence that you find devastating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's definitely, you know, it creates a hole there for sure. Um, so. The hole that you're trying to avoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I I I, I mean it's a, it's a difficult I th- thing. I think yeah. I'm go- I'm going to let my heart out there to be broken all the time. I'm going to fill it up. That's what life for me is all about. Okay. I'm 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 not scared of rejection and and uh, even though I I am scared of losing what is dear to me. Mhm. Um, that would never stop me from loving it. Okay. And enjoying it. And I really think that um, not just the romantic love, but the entire thing of just um, living in 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 uh, in the integrity of the of love, right? Okay. As energy, as a vibe, as a as a way of life. Because I I'm kind of religious about the whole love thing. All right. No, I, and I and I could tell that from your from your chat and from talking to you and things like that that uh, that you are. That's that, that's that's uh that's to me that's like the because I don't think of it as just an emotion. And to me, love is like um, a force of nature. It's what creates everything. Okay. Or or a dimension, I don't know. Or a um a weave or <laughs> I a don't weave. Know, right? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> like weaved into to fabric of shit, right? It could be sure. one of the well, no, no, no. It's it's all connected. In in the time space, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because definitely all that I when I look into the world and I see everything that's threatening a thriving human race and a thriving planet. I see the absence of love and all that. There is. And thing. whenever I see, you know, thriving, there's tons of love and creation and all that. Okay. And love is also loss and and heartache. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, and so to you, love is, <coughs> life is love. Well, life life is many things, though. But but as I see it, I see because this is how I see the the threat to everything that is thriving and sustainable and um and living is this void, right? Yeah. That's just you know this big nothing that's just sucking everything um meaningful out of everything, right? Okay. And I see it grow on this planet. You can just look at the news. I can you can see all that. And we're coming to the anchor in just a minute, right? The anchor. Oh, well, oh anchor, anger, right? anger, anger. Yes. Because because I would never put love. You know, anger is an emotion, right? It is. Yes. And and love can be an emotion. It it is also expressed in an, as an emotion. Well, but it I would is never an emotion. Put those love is an emotion. Side by side. Love is an emotion. It's something you feel, so it's an emotion. And but to me, it's it's way more more than that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah no. I. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, there's lots of things I love. Uh, and, and there is no other emotion that creates what love does, though, right? No, no, there certainly is not. It, it is a and special thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I try to avoid um, those uh, connections with other people at that level. You know, well, I, we got all these people here in the chat, and I love them all. They're all awesome. They're wonderful people. The people that other people can't stand to talk to or, or watch their chat. I love <laughs> those people. Your army of misfits. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I, I, love, I love them all. I don't, I, I don't care. You know, uh, I'm proud to serve, Grimner, in well, your army of misfits. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, you know, if, let's say I was, like, somewhere and I, and I met some woman. And and it seemed like we had some kind of immediate connection going on between us. Yes, I, I would avoid her. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want That's that. Silly. No. Well, whatever. Uh, it is what yeah. it is. 
But uh, yeah, I'm t- I'm just gonna say I'm gonna um I hope I'm always gonna be in it for the love. Okay, good. No, that's good. I and hope we, I'm gonna be. I hope I'm gonna be in life for the flavors, right? Sure. I'm and, I'm, and I'm not I'm not passing time here. I am. I I I, I look at life as an endurance test. <laughs> really? Uh, how long, to me, how it's long? an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> I, you, there are so many in, fucking awesome things on this planet and in this life, and we have so many awesome senses and 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 ways of enjoying it and ways of reflecting on it and and, and you know that to me that's just um, a big as taste buffet. And I'm just going to um, get as much as, as as I can. Well, good. No, that's good. And and that's that's what uh, variety is the spice of life, right? Um, that's what they say. And when I grow old, I'm going to sit alone. I'm going to and maybe not alone. Who knows? I'll, I'll be alone. But I'm going to sit that um, and just open my treasure box of souvenirs and enjoy all those feelings that you can relive. Okay. No, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, you know, I enjoy uh, the times when I'm, you know, out in nature uh, alone. <laughs> mm. But, uh, you, know, if, you know, if there's somebody else there with you, they're going to be giving their views or opinions on, on whatever. And, um, yeah. and I probably don't want to hear that. <laughs> I just want to enjoy the solitude. Uh, anyway, um Great. Okay. Love. Love is wonderful. I don't know. Um, Love is wonderful. Uh, Love is horrible. Apparently it comes across as if I think everybody should think like me. Uh, I don't Does think it? I do. I don't think so. Uh, I, no, I, I don't think so I either. mean, just because you say, this is what I like, doesn't mean that you're saying you should like this. Say, no. you, you might enjoy this if you take the time to appreciate it as I do, but... Yeah. You may not. It may not trip your trigger. You know, it may not be your thing. So this um, is where I'm coming from. This is uh, the whole idea of this. Is I am really getting and and loving <laughs> this whole love thing. So I I just uh, I just really want other people to enjoy it too. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the whole thing about it. I, I, and that's understandable. I mean, that might be very I, rigid. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm I, okay I, with rigid thinking, though. I, I do my blues, I do is. my uh, I do my blues show on Sundays, and I do that because I love the blues. And not everybody tunes in. I know that because not everybody shares my enjoyment for that style of music. No. Just as you were playing your polka or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> <laughs> which Belkan Yugoslavian disco. Whatever. I I can take or leave a lot of that uh you know, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, people play <laughs> play that like electronica stuff and it's like, no, 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 no. I, I don't yeah. wanna hear it. Or or the the rap or the or even like the, the really angry slash metal kind of stuff. I, I no, I'm not good with that either. I, I love yeah. Hard rock. And I love metal, but when when they start that stuff where it's like it just sounds like they're ah all the time. I I, I turn it off. I, I don't want to hear it. Um, no, no, not flash. Uh, slash. Well, what do you call it? Thrash. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know if it's got funk. I can do it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If there's <laughs> something funky in it, I'm there. Cause you're a funky gal. Yeah, it's going to be something funky. But I don't know. I'm just, I think maybe the world would be a better place uh, and in much more and thrive much more if we had more more love here. Okay. Yeah. Much more love and much less anger. Anger. Well, anger is, no, anger is not in itself a bad thing, though. But we can go into it because anger is an alert emotion, right? Yeah. Anger is emotion. Anger, yeah, it alerts but, you. But is it not primarily a huge waste of energy? 
a waste well, of it's, time. It's an emotion that when you feel angry, it's because you feel something wrong happened, right? Oh, or something you disagree, whether you did wrong or not, it's something you didn't like, you, you disagreed with. Um, yeah. Or, or And you usually know. it's injustices or what we, you know, perceive as something injustice or unjust, just, right? Right. That trick that makes us angry. So it's either something we see somebody doing to somebody else that we find, you know, um, unjust or unfair or wrong. Right. Or it's something that was done to us and then we become angry, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, you know, I I still remember a time when I was like a teenager and I saw these, these pigs roughing up some guy for doing nothing. And, um, ah, oh, I, I've, I have, I've hated them since then. Um, uh, because, not because they're out there to serve or protect, because that's not what they're doing. They're out there to, to abuse people because they have this shiny badge on. And the state gives them the, the power, uh, to go ahead and do that. And, and if you were to, uh, try and stop them, you know, from doing that by like reporting them or whatever. You're the one that's going to wind up in trouble, not them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, they, they, they do so anger. That's why there is a lot of anger around. Cause they, there's a lot of trigger shit to get angry about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's full of shit to get angry about. And, and then, then when you, when you find out at some point in life, not everybody finds out, not everybody realizes it, but when you find out at some point in life, that all the shit you've ever been taught was a lie, and it's all wrong. And they were instructing you that this is the way this is. This is the way history happened. This is the yeah. way that government works. And, it, and it's all lies. And every bumper sticker hero was a brand that didn't exist, but was a flawed-up human being. Just like everybody else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, there's tons of shit to get angry about. But but Oprah. And that, that's what anger in itself is. What Oprah? <laughs> did you say Oprah? No, I did not. Oh, because I really wanted to hear that sentence though, where Brimley starts off with Oprah. I I have no <laughs> no no feelings about Oprah one way or the other. <laughs> She, okay. she, she's an okay. entertainment thing that I I don't find entertaining. Um, yeah. So no, I, I sometimes I make fun of her in in the in you know the chat or whatever. You get a whatever. You get a whatever. That that one thing she did where she gave everybody cars, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I found yeah. that very humorous, and and you can apply it to 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 the various like uh, politicians out there promising you the world and. Giving you yeah. the, giving you the shaft instead, um, so because <laughs> the fun part is though, right? For some reason, and this is the thing that never dawned on people that do this, right? Oprah is being paid, right? Mm -hmm. Not only Oprah, but her entire production uh, company and whatever network she's on and all that, right? They're going to get paid lots of money, right? Right. Yeah, because people want to see her. Uh, um, what what they do pay, you know, that's advertisers that pay all those money, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she does giveaways for like a uh, thousandth of uh, the incoming money into this Oprah company, right? Right, yeah. I mean, she could afford to give a whole audience of a couple hundred people yeah. cars. Like, Here's a car. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, when well, in fact, what we could do, right, is we could cut out Oprah as the middleman, right? And then you could just have advertisers pay you to sit down and watch advertisement, right? Right, but but supposedly, and uh, the the reason a lot of people uh, see the ads on whatever particular thing, and they they want to buy it, is because somehow they identify uh, with, with whatever that is. You know, it's like all these sports ball guys. They're out there making millions of dollars every year. And you're going, why are these idiots making millions of dollars to throw a ball around? It's, just, it's stupid. <laughs> uh, but but people enjoy it. They enjoy uh, watching the, the game. 
whatever it happens to be. And and so the advertisers pile on, whether it's like beer or tennis shoes or or whatever the hell. Um, it doesn't matter that that the people watching that they they identify with with the characters or the players, I guess. It's- yeah, it's it's feel good. And so it's, that makes I that so if you're just watching good. the ads with, without without your without your without it, Oprah to do feel good. For yeah, you. Well, well, yeah, without your without your entertainment that thing would be involved. Efficient, there. Though. What? It would be more efficient. But it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the money would still be there though. No, you would just get money just to watch advertising. Mo- Moose Girl says the Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Moose, Moose Girl says the Oprah Winfrey show ended in 2011. I had no, I, 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 I had no idea. I would have thought it was still on. Yeah, yeah. She's eternal, though, isn't she? Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's just one of the many things. <laughs> it's just one of the many things to, to get angry about, though. It's, it's stupidity like that, right? Right, right. So, so anger in itself is what what is it? it's when you just express it you know you just explode it all over the world right yeah that is that's when it gets a little uh, futile yeah you know it, it's uh, uh it's like the show my the show that I like to watch is Jeopardy yeah and um, they they um, I, I record it so I can watch it I don't watch it live I watch it you know hour or two after the show airs so I can zip through the commercials. I don't want to watch the commercials. Mm. So screw those advertisers. But I do see little bits of the ads as I go through uh, zipping through them. Uh, Mm. And primarily the ads are all for old people crap. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently Jeopardy is a slow TV, right? Are you watching slow TV? Flow TV? I don't, I don't know what that is. Not streaming, not paper, but Flow TV. Uh, no, it, it, well, it's just regular over-the-air television. I don't know. Yeah, wait, that's Flow TV. Okay, so yeah, I record okay. it. I have a, I have a, a, a DVR built into my computer that I want that it was a tuner okay. in there, okay. and so I can zip through the commercials with the fast-forward button there. So that's how I see it. But but uh, sometimes you see a little bit of whatever commercial, and it's always for some kind of various drug or ailment or uh, whatever they think old people need. Um, retirement homes. I don't know. <laughs> so so it's very targeted to to the crowd that they're aiming at. And uh, yeah. 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 So it, it's funny. The demographics of Jeopardy. But it, but it, but it's the big, the big, uh, you know, the big pharma stuff, and apparently those commercials, you know, you don't have your fifteen thirty second commercials. Those commercials are like two three minutes long. Wow. So uh, they wow. they, got, they got a lot of money. <laughs> wow. uh, but I don't I get. Think maybe I don't if get. We had I don't get angry. We had. I think we had aspirin advertisements at some point. Yeah. And throat, but that's otherwise I've, um, a pharma at, at cinema in Danish TV is not allowed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, aspirin's good. I like aspirin. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a very handy drug. Yeah. I, I like the pure aspirin, though. I don't want any of the other buffers or whatever other stuff in there. But that's just me. Anyway, anyway, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of anger uh, at this point in my life. I, 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 I tend to just laugh at crap rather than get mad at it. Um, Wouldn't you say maybe then you have a healthy anger though? I, it's I, because you still get angry. I know you do because when you watch cops beat up on um, humans, right? Uh, yeah, no, I they, you get uh, angry. I do get angry at those and. They they are one of the more difficult things to laugh at because yeah. they're they're actually. But then you figure out a way to manage it and channel it uh, yeah. instead of exploding it. Right, and and I you know I, I I I try to avoid it because it 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 does make me I don't get a good feeling from it. I get the opposite yeah. of that, and um, yeah. so I I mean. As Moose Girl and I have talked about many times on Freakers, we could do every single show every week, three hours full, no music, of just mm. cops doing bad shit to people. 
and mm. and we would never be able to even come close to covering all the various stories of their nastiness. So, um, but yeah. you would be so miserable. Oh, I would, I would, I would, I would go out of my and mind. And angry all the time. I would, I would go out of my mind. I could not handle it. Because so. I think that the emotions um, that we put into the world, right, they help shape and create the world we live in. And there's definitely a lot of expressive anger right now. Yeah. So what, what? Which means that a lot of people are being stepped on, though, right? Yeah. Well, a lot. Of, everybody's being stepped on, unless you're mm-hmm. one of the few small group that think of themselves as elite, and they call, mm-hmm. and most people call them, oh, they're the elite. They're not freaking elite. They're but they're pieces of shit. Um, mm. <laughs> that that want to control and do for the most part control uh, life on this planet as we know it. Yeah. 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 Okay. But then your anchor also makes you aware of all this shit. Without it, you wouldn't be aware that you know. It's yeah. Horrible. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think. Um, I think maybe one of the, the the issues with modern life, right? Or maybe it was not so modern, but then with civilized life. <laughs> civilized. There's a word for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, in, what do you call it? Inhibited. Yeah. Uh, right? Owned. Um, pwned. I think owned, pwned. Yeah. I think maybe it's that uh, we have all this inspiration, right? Right. And some people will call it divine inspiration. I would just call it human inspiration, right? Uh huh. Then you can take it from the <laughs> as of the um, divinity of it, right? But we have impulses and inspiration, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that we've gotten so far away from those that we no longer react to them, though. Okay. And I and I say this because expand, um, expand. Yeah, I'm, I'm just an example, right? One of the things that we are fighting the most in children in um, civilized countries, right? Right. Is uh, is impulsivity. Those are the kids we're giving labels and diagnoses of all sorts. Those are the ones who are really in tune with their impulsivities and who reacts to their impulsivities, right? Right. And and I think maybe we would have other reactions to what is going on than just anger if we hadn't, you know, cut off all that impulsivity in us. Because I don't think it's it might not be a bad thing to react sometimes with... Uh, with a more clean or, or, you know, deeper rooted connection to to uh, um, to the everything or to love or to to you know, right? The human, the human morality or the human spiritual guide, right? Okay. But I think we were taught not to. I think you were, we were taught to behave normal, right? Have manners. Whatever uh, normal is, yeah. Sit down, listen, don't talk. Do everything in somehow magical periods of 45 minutes. Because then we divide children's life into these slots of 45 minutes. Well, what's the 45 minutes? I don't know about you. Maybe in America it's it's different, but uh, what's the class? How long is the class? Oh, the the public school crap? Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know if it was 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, maybe 55 minutes so you'd have time to get to the next class. I, I think most classes were an hour. I don't, I don't, yeah. you know. It's been, I don't a, know. it's been a couple years since I've been to a, been in a school. <laughs> I just remember, you know, that whole thing, you were just getting into art and art class, right? Yeah. And you're finally getting, you know, you were having fun, you were, you know, getting into the mood of art class, right? They, and then some bell rings, and now I'm going to go do math? Yeah. That's so weird. And I'm just, I just think, you know, that whole impulsivity of really diving into um, 
what makes us happy, the stuff we love, right? Because it's not going to be the same things for each and every one of us. No. Because you and me, we would choose really different things. Right. Well, you know, there was some stuff that was enjoyable, right? Like your art classes or uh, whatever other things you enjoyed that, you know, 45 minutes was never enough. Uh, but then there was math class where you're, you're learning your math stuff, and I'd be done with whatever the stuff was for the day in like 10 minutes, and then I'd just have to dick around and sit there and, and <laughs> I mean, because all the math stuff was so easy uh, to, to me. And they should just have given you more math. To me. Well, more, more but if, No, it doesn't work like that because, because it was the uh, – uh, they they teach to the lowest common denominator. So if there's a guy there having that's trouble, okay. yeah, they, yeah, that's the whole thing. Now you're in these slots of you know you're controlled by your time, not by your interest. Yeah, you would have gotten. Are you? Do you agree with me? You would have gotten way better at math if you would have just been into enjoyable math. And for as long as your impulses or your ideas or your thinking process was into math, there were people right there teaching it to you. Well, if you could just do it at your own pace. Uh, yeah. Whatever that is, really slow, medium, or really fast, uh, and they experiment just experiment and have fun with it and go nuts and enjoy it. Yeah, right? and they just let you go ahead and do it. And if you had a question, then then you ask, you know, the, yeah. the instructor. Uh, but but it didn't work yeah. like that. I, I I couldn't be like four or five, six chapters ahead, or whatever they call them in a book uh, yeah. for for math. Um, and 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 ask the teacher about something that's coming up in four weeks. Because they'd get pissed off. What are you doing looking at that? That's not here yet. <laughs> well, you see, that's the whole system. It's, 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 it's really programmed away from your impulsivity, though. Right. It, it grooms you through all this into um, being in complete control of your own, of, of every inspiration, right? Sure. So you never just take an inspiration and go with it. And yeah. and we really, you know, the, we didn't create all these advances in understanding and learning um, through doing it in slots of 45 minutes when we were told to. Right. Yeah, no, I, I always found it ridiculous to have in the regimented times uh, like that, but... Yeah. And uh, you still you still sort of do it, right? We, we make, you know, the people who just... Um, Go with an inspiration or go with their impulsivity. We call those uh, the wacky ones and the weird geniuses and the misfits and the ADHD people or whatever label or diagnose we put on people who are actually just really a lot in tune with with that. Uh, And you can call it divine or whatever, uh, internal or external. Um, uh, I don't know, but it's a flow, right? energy or vibe that just makes you learn and understand and put shit together, right? You know the zone. Yeah. 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 What have we covered? Did we cover kindness? No, we didn't. I went to the... uh, Inspiration. Inspiration instead. Okay. Well, kindness is kind of covered a little bit under love, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah. would be a cool currency though right kindness as a currency yeah that would be kind of a cool currency okay well i think i'm a, i'm a, i think i'm a fairly kind person um yeah and not out of any any uh desire for whatever it's just uh i i find it easier and I feel better about being nicer to folk than, than to be mean to folk. Yeah. And yeah. So. You know, and life is, um, I was, you know, life is better when you're a kind person. Because you get kindness back, though. Yeah, well, see, but that's, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's cool, kind of whole, like the whole philanthropy thing, you know. Um, oh, I'm giving, look at all the money I gave this person. Don't, aren't I great? Uh, no, no. I'm more, I mean, like in, um, in, we have a Danish saying that means, that says, uh, every thief thinks every man is, is stealing, right? Right. Right. Yes. 
So if you're genuinely a kind person, you're also going to meet the world as if it's full of genuinely kind people. And then you're going to meet it. And you're going to and somehow have more and more kindness around you because you're creating it and it's getting repaid and you're looking for it and you're growing it. Yeah. That's the same goes for anger though, right? If you if you constantly have anger and you give out anger to other people, you're going to be living in anger. You're going to right. be getting anger back. Yeah, no, if you're if you're angry all the time then and you have a rotten horrible Well, it's going to get fucking angry with you too. Yeah, 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 it's sure. I mean, what you put out comes back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing how that works, isn't it? <laughs> so simple, right? So yeah. simple. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. For Twitter, we can do the hashtag really deep. Really deep. Yeah. See, people could take that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Those I um hashtag maps, right? Wait. Maps. We weren't going to go there, were we? I don't know what that is. Map. Okay, here's the thing, though, right? If you want to do something good for this planet and the people on it, you go track down some of those who hashtag MAP on their Twitter. Oh, that's what you were talking those about earlier. Those are disgusting and horrible human beings. But are and they? The more you hunt them down, the more you have them accountable uh, for uh, what uh, they're doing. They're disgusting. Uh, so let me ask you, though, but is it something in their nature? Is it natural to them? To be these disgusting, horrible people? It might. Do, do they feel? Um, no, I, I, I don't. I don't judge people for their thoughts, but um, their their actions. Right. Yeah. And if you're out there on the internet uh, hashtagging yourself with MAP, you're probably grooming girls and hanging out in uh, teen chat rooms. Yeah, and shit like I mean, that. you're not freaking animals. So, you could control your urges. Uh, then you wouldn't be hashtagging it all over Twitter, would right. you? Right. No, you you would you, you would whatever you know you were had your desires. I guess I don't know how you would put that for those people that are that are the pedos. meditate people meditate. <laughs> yeah, just figure out that yeah. just just because you had whatever thought doesn't mean you got to act on it. Nope. <laughs> I mean, you know, the same for the anger people. You don't have to go out and shoot people or punch people in the head or, or whatever. You're, you're, you're not a freaking animal. <laughs> no, but you could redirect it and go uh, catfish some of those people out, the MAPs. But why? 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 Call them out. They're nasty and disgusting. Okay. That's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. That was the uh, serious part of the radio program. Okay, well we we've um we've uh run out of time. Because we, that we, shit pisses me off, right? We, we, it, yeah, well it should. Um, yeah. it, I mean, <laughs> especially you know if you had kids or whatever, you, you just don't want. I mean, you don't want to see innocent little humans no. destroyed because somebody's no. weird. I mean, that's that's just messed up shit. Yeah. So. You're not a freaking animal. And they get normalized. It's yeah. disgusting. Anyway, we we uh, we've run out of time, so we didn't cover creation. I'm sorry. That's all right. No, that's no, fine. Well, so um, yeah. uh, we'll maybe do creation another time. I don't even know where we're going to go with that, but um, no, next week we're going to do war and violence. No, we're right? not. How do we did love? <laughs> no, we are <laughs> not. <laughs> But we gotta balance it out. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man. All right. Anyway, folks, thanks for everybody for tuning in um, uh, to, to the show here today. To it's all connected with Grimner and Cirque. That would be her and I. Um, and uh, we will be back again next Monday with something, not war and destruction. <laughs> 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 no, because we already did giant meteor, though, right? Oh, well, and that, that's a much better way of doing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, tomorrow, I don't think uh, I don't think Flash plans on a show tomorrow. Um, he did do a, a, a kind of a one-off dork table on Tuesday with 
with uh, Rob a few weeks back, so who knows? Um, and uh, but he did a normal dark table with Grams on oh, did he on Saturday? No, he, he did. did a, it he did a solo. He did a solo. Yes. Right. Grams will come back when she feels like it. Yes. If she feels like it. Um, and we will look forward to her coming back. Absolutely, we love to marry. I cannot wait for Grammy to come back. I, I, no, she does no. great shows and she makes me laugh. And I yes, me too. Love to laugh, um, yes. <laughs> as you can probably tell. Anyway, um, that's it. Check the schedule on reallibertymedia.com, dot com, rlmradio dot x y z, and um, have a great day. Have a great yes. week. Uh, eat some turkey if that's your desire on this upcoming Thursday for use in use in America. And screw and the governors. Merry Christmas. Yeah, that too. And screw the governors <laughs> that tell you not to do anything and don't hang out with people. All right. No. We'll, we'll talk to eat you Eat lots of food, people. Oh Stop. yeah, tons of food. Eat pig out. Yeah. Be a be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Peace.